with Gary Russell Jr., he comes out and says he believes that Errol Spence is too big and too strong for Terrence Crawford. You know, this video kind of it's kind of, it's weird because I was going to make a video talking about Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. I was going to give my personal analysis of that fight. And I had to bring this in. So this is kind of like loosely related to that video that I'll be making. But um, so Gary Russell Jr. has some choice words against that fight. Uh, because, you know, we already know um, Gary Russell Jr. and Terrence Crawford, they got some past issues. Uh, there was a story where uh, Gary Russell got into an altercation with Terrence Crawford at the gym. And he allegedly punched Terrence Crawford, sneak punched him. Crawford says it was a sneak punch. Uh, Gary claims he punched him head up. And then, you know, people started holding Bud back. And Gary claims, you know, when I punched him, he paused up. And didn't even swing back. He waited till everybody grabbed him or something like that. You know, Gary Russell Jr., uh, good fighter, man. But, man, dude, I think he got a fight coming up soon. I asked this question a while ago. Bro, when the hell are you fighting, bro? When are you getting back in the fucking ring? When are you getting back in the ring, bro? You know, and my thing is, um, he's he's been too inactive. And he says, you know, Gary Russell claims that he'll he'll break Terrence Crawford up, he'll 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 smoke him. Loosely translate, those are not uh quotes. But the, here's the thing, he says Errol Spence is too big and too strong for Bud. But at the same time, he thinks he could be Bud. And I'm like, Gary. You you 126 pounds, man. The the most you rehydrate to, if let's just say he did fight Bud. Let's just say he fought Bud at uh. Let me see. I don't know. Bud fought at 130 before, right? 135. Let's say Gary went up. We'll try to go up to, or put, put it like this. Let's say there was no restrictions on weight let's just say gary russell jr and terrence crawford decided just to fight there was no weight nothing there was no class they just say yo let's just let's just fight what do you think gary russell's walking around weight is i would say maybe a buck 50 maybe 145 he's a little dude terrence crawford's walk around weights maybe at 160 i say 165 160 so if they was to scrap it out Terrence will be probably 20, 30 pounds heavier than Gary, naturally, I think. You know, weight doesn't always mean everything because you got little dudes that can beat big dudes. But what I'm saying is he brought up the fact that Errol is too big. Emphasis on big. He said Errol's too big for Bud. So that's why I'm bringing up the weight when it comes to Gary and Terrence. But skill-wise, I don't see nothing that Gary Russell has for Bud. At all, and if they were to fight at their natural weights, I have is a strong, strong possibility that Terrence Crawford would knock out Gary Russell Jr. For many reasons, you know, Gary Russell's quick; he got the speed advantage over Bud for sure. Arms is too short. He got to leap in. He's gonna get frustrated. Bud gonna start pawing out jabs at him. Uh, Gary Russell's footwork is great too. Uh, Bud is good. Uh, Bud gonna start tapping him to the body, putting pressure on him. I don't see and Gary Russell Jr. is not known for his power, so I don't see anything that Gary Russell can do to really get Bud off of him or even stop Bud. But Bud definitely, I would say, high probability. The probability of Terrence Crawford stopping Gary Russell Jr. if they ever fought is ninety percent probability. The probability of Gary Russell Jr. stopping Bud, I give that 45, 50%. Uh, I just don't see nothing that Gary Russell has that will really do any damage to Bud, man. But, you know, he just has the speed advantage. That's it. Um, Gary Russell Jr., his chin is still, uh, I think his chin is unproven. He hasn't really gotten hit by a big puncher yet. Got to take that into consideration. Will he hold up to a punch from Terrence Crawford? Uh, not for too long, in my opinion. Um, Buzz Chen is a little bit more proven. So, 
Gary Russell Jr. saying that, that is just pr- probably a biased opinion because he don't like Terrence Crawford. Um, because I can't see him, I can't understand why he would say Errol Spence is too big and too strong for Bud, which translates to him saying Errol beats Bud, but you are smaller than Errol Spence, but you, um, you think you can also beat Bud because you said you could beat Bud. So you obviously ain't bigger than Bud. You damn sure ain't stronger than Bud. So that makes me believe that comment was purely emotional and it was it was uh bias driven because they got past history and there's there's beef there. There's no other reason he's just trolling. There's there's nothing else. No other reason I could believe that I could think that why he would say that. You know? So you know, <laughs> you know these these dudes then when they be talking, they do they even hear they so? You you ain't strong. You ain't big at all. You a little dude compared to Bud. So you there, you know. <laughs> it's it's just odd that, that he would say that, man. But I guess one day we'll find out if Errol Spence is really too big and too strong for Bud. I don't think so, but we'll find out. What y'all guys think about Gary Russell's words saying that? Errol Spence Jr. is too big and too strong for Terrence Crawford. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. Like and subscribe. Get back to you dudes on the next one. And I'm off this. Peace.